Despite strong opposition from some Kauai residents, a developer is moving ahead with plans to rebuild the Coco Palms Resort. The company says demolition will start before the end of the year. Manola Morales follows up. The developer, Reef Capital Partners, gave a presentation on the project at a community meeting Wednesday night, but some residents made it clear they weren't interested. The company was required to give the presentation, and it ended shortly after this. It was more just there to tell us what they're doing um, and to convince the community to want something that clearly the community does not want. Unfortunately, some of the people who are opposed to the project decided to shout down, you know, anybody who had a few different from theirs, and, and that's too bad. The iconic Coco Palms Hotel has sat in ruins for more than 30 years after Hurricane Iniki battered Kauai. The Utah-based developer plans to rebuild it as a 350-room hotel. Some residents say there's already too much traffic in the area and it should instead be preserved as a cultural site. But they says there are many residents who want to see the project move forward so demolition will start in weeks. And they want to see the uh, structure, the unsound structures that are there at Coco Palms come down. And, uh, and we're excited to deliver that for the community. It's definitely a place that is, should be a preserved cultural site um, and not another hotel. And really, people on Kauai don't want another hotel anyway. Holland adds there's also not enough workers on the island. Back in April, DLNR ordered the developer to stop work for cutting down 77 coconut trees. At the time, DLNR said it could be a basis for terminating the permit. But they says the lease allows them to do that. We think the lease on that land not only allows but requires us to maintain that grove according to modern nursery practices including uh, removing any diseased trees. DLNR says the case is still under investigation. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.